Hello, Philip here, and I want to show you our newest thing, and this is the Apex Template Studio. Uh, you can visit it on ats.unitedcodes.com, and this is a playground live editor of Apex Template Syntax. So what you can see here on the left side, this is just some HTML, and on the right side, we see the output of it. Uh, we can also like change sizes, etc. And um, interestingly here, um, for example, I here this is showing some list items. So I can say hello. And then after refresh, I can see it's applied here. And what we also have here is this weird little if conditions and like attributes, etc. This is the Apex template syntax. Uh, it's yeah, I've been there in Apex for a few releases. It gets more important and important. For example, template components use it a lot. And even in the latest 24.1 release, there are the new select one and select many items. And there you can even also supply your own template. So um, you can yeah fine tune how the results should look. And yeah, this is a place where you can develop and test like templates, how they look and um, how the conditions play out. Um, so yeah, so maybe you're wondering like, how does this, um, these statements, these uh, template syntax work? For that, we have like an example, click on the top right, we have template directors demo, we also have like a chat demo. And there you can see it, or you can just scroll down or click here. And then we have like a small documentation. So first like placeholders or attributes are just hash and then a variable name. And we have case statements to basically do value checks. So if um, project status has the value completed, we get this icon. If it's development, we get this, etc. If conditions are just true the or false, uh, true or false checks, and we can even do loops. All right, and yeah, that's what's going on here. So we have like a small button test. So we have here a button has a class T button. And for example, here, if is hot, we are gonna apply the T button hot class here. And that's why, for example, the first one here, it has the value, the attribute is hot has a value Y that's truthy. So it gets the class applied whereas the other ones have no value, that's falsy. So these are not hot buttons. So yeah, we have this one HTML template here, but we've got three buttons. Why is that? And um, to easily test out like multiple states of your uh, template, like with multiple values for your attributes, we have this data tab here and we can see like, okay, so first one is titled hot and is hot as Y, and this has a class save. So these basically transfer to each instance of our template. You can add a new one, say hot and disabled to test what um, the disabled hot button looks like. And that's here. And yeah, you can move them around. We can uh, delete them and yeah. That's great. And additionally, you can also fine tune any CSS. So um, you might want to go deep into styling the stuff to yeah, later use it, for example, in a template component in your app. So you can also add styles here. And so let's go ahead. I have like made changes to my template. I want to maybe save it to yeah, look at it again tomorrow, for example. Then I can log in with my United Codes account. So let me quickly do that. So I'm gonna quickly log in and I can see, okay, it's still my uh, my uh, thing before with the changes. I still have the hot and disabled button and it's saying it's an untitled template. So I can click save and I say, okay, my newest creation, click save. It's now titled that way. I can also like, look at it on my other templates here and I can also like share it. So oop, it's, I get this pop-up because this browser actually does share the support, uh, the share thing. 
Um, so I can send it or copy it. And um, yeah, that's basically it. That's uh, um, that's uh, um, Apex Template Studio. I'm curious to know your feedback and um, suggestions. Also, like if you have great uh, creations, send them to me. I want to see what you're doing with it. And I hope that you like it. Thank you very much. Thank you.